Welcome to Yogisa Yoga and its yoga class inspired by the star sign Aries. The body part that is connected with the ram sign is the head. We therefore use Aries enthusiasm and focus while challenging the impulsive and impatient tendencies Aries can have. Find your warrior focus in this power yoga routine. Begin in a comfortable cross-legged seated position or drop your knees to the floor and lift the upper body and sit down in easy hero pose on your feet. Bring the hands to the heart center and find your yogic breath. Take deep breaths through the nose. Feel the belly expand with every breath. Gather your focus. Aries is the first zodiac sign and it's controlled by the planet Mars. This means that Aries stands for energy and turbulence, which means that they always look for speed and fun. Aries is strong will, but the will is not always stable. The goals can change quickly. Come to all fours. Send the hips high and back to downward facing dog. Pull up through the core. Push the mat away from you. Press down through the hands, especially the index finger and thumb. Bend your knees deeply. Hug your abs up and in. Inhale, lift the right leg high and back. Breathe out and set the right leg too. Spin the back heel down and rise in warrior one. Make sure your feet are hip width apart and the right knee is directly over your ankle. Draw your lower abs up and in. Square your hips and shoulders to the top of your mat. Reach your arms overhand. Relax your shoulders. Lower the arms and clasp the hands behind your lower back and stretch the arms back to open up the chest. Don't shrug your shoulders. Lift your heart and gaze. As you breathe out, slowly melt back into the back bend. Keep the hips pressing forward. As you exhale, continue to keep your heart open and gently bow forward. In humble warrior. If it feels like too much for you, you can always place the hands on the inside of the right leg. Stand strong and focused, be confident and humble at the same time. Exhale, the hands frame the right foot, let the back heel lift up, come into a low lunge. Push the heel back and lift the chest. Find the stability in the legs, keep the focus and shift the weight from the hands. Only the fingertips touch the mat. Plant your hands, either jump back or step one leg at a time back into plank pose. Make sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists. Press the heels back, move your hips points forward towards your chin. Press down through the knuckles, lift up the area between the shoulder blades. Pull up through the core and send the hips high and back to downward facing dog. It's time for the other side. Inhale and lift the left leg high and back. Breathe out and step the left leg through. Spin the back heel down and rise in warrior one. The feet are hip width apart and the left knee is directly over your ankle. Draw your lower abs up and in. Square your hips and shoulders to the top of your mat. Reach your arms overhand. Lower the arms and clasp the hands behind the lower back and stretch the arms back to open the chest. Relax the shoulders. Lift your heart and gaze. Slowly melt back into the back bend. Keep the hips pressing forward. Breathe deep. As you exhale, continue to keep your heart open and gently bow forward in humble warrior. If it feels too much for you, you can always place the hands on the inside of the left leg. Be stable and patient in this humble pose. Exhale, the hands frame the right foot. Let the back heel lift up. Come into a low lunge. Push the heel back and lift the chest. Find the stability in the legs. Keep the focus and shift the weight from the hands. Only the fingertips touch the mat. Plant your hands. Step back to plank. Make sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists. Press the heels back. Lift up the area between the shoulder blades. Engage the core to keep the weight out from the wrists. Lengthen the back of the neck. Pull up through the core and send the hips high and back to downward facing dog. Inhale. 
inhale, lift your left leg high and back. Breathe out and step the leg through. Open up the hips to warrior two. Engage the lower abs, lengthen the tailbone down and lift the upper body. Reach your arms front and back like a T. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Want to make it harder? Try to lift the heel of the front foot. Lower the heel and keep the legs as they are and reach your left hand high in Reverse Warrior. Let your right hand just rest on the back leg. Breathe into the side stretch, look up to your hand. Lift your heel again. Lower the heel and drop your left forearm to your left thigh and reach your right arm overhand in extended side angle. Lift your right armpit towards the ceiling to keep the heart lifted. Get up on the toe again. Push up the left leg into the left forearm and extend the left side of the body further. Lower the heel, straighten your left leg and reach your left arm high for reverse triangle. Lengthen your whole left side body. Take a big inhale. Look up to your hand if it feels good for your neck. On your next exhale, plant your hands and step back to downward facing dog. It's time for the other side. Inhale, lift your right leg high and back. Breathe out and step the leg through. Open up the hips to warrior two. Engage the lower abs, lengthen the tailbone down and lift the upper body. Reach your arms front and back like a T. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Get up on the toe of the right leg if you lifted the heel on the other side. Lower the heel and keep the legs as they are and reach your right hand high in Reverse Warrior. Let your left hand just rest on the back leg. Breathe into the side stretch. Look up to your hand. Lift your heel again. Lower the heel and drop the right forearm to your right thigh and reach your left arm overhead in extended side angle. Lift your left armpit towards the ceiling. Keep your heart lifted. Get up on the toe again. Push up the right leg into the right forearm and extend the right side of the body further. Lower the heel, straighten your right leg and reach your right arm high for reverse triangle. Lengthen your whole right side body. Breathe deep. On your next exhale, plant your hands and step back to downward facing dog. Walk up to your hands and come down in a forward fold. Soften your knees and stretch out the hamstrings. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Slide your hands up the chins or as high as you need to go to find a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale and rise all the way up to mountain pose. Shift the weight to the left foot. Lift your right leg, the knee is bent for one-legged mountain. Focus your gaze on a fixed point in front of you. Find your drishti. It will help you keep your balance. Slowly and with control, move the right leg back and up in warrior 3. Stay strong and focused. Make sure the hips are in level with each other. Mindfully lower the leg back down. Shift the weight to the right foot. Lift your left leg, the knee is bent. Bring the hands together at heart center, find your drishti. Slow and mindful, move the left leg back in warrior 3. Stay strong and focused. Keep the body in a straight line. Make sure your hips are in level with each other. Slowly lower the leg back down in mountain pose. Activate the entire core. Lift up on your toes. Stretch your arms and grow as long as you can. Tighten all the muscles. 
Stretch all the way to the fingertips. Lower the arms parallel to the floor. Continue to balance on your toes. Bend your legs and as slowly as you can squat down. Try to stay on your toes, but lower your heels if you want to feel more stable. When you come down, place the feet on the mat and the hands behind you and sit down. It's time for boat pose. Keep the back straight, hold on behind the thighs and lift the legs. When you're ready, let go of the legs and lean back slightly. Work the core and lift the chest. Don't forget to breathe. If you want, you can straighten the legs. If you don't want to extend the legs, keep them bent. If it's too much for you, you can hold on to the legs again. A few more breaths. You can do it. Great work! Come down and hug the legs in. Straighten both legs. Reach the arms up overhead and fold over the legs. Use an expansive breath. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale and fold deeper. The goal is to let the belly close to the thighs, not to press the head to the knees. Draw the abs in to fold deeper. Bend from the hip. Relax in your shoulders. Cross your arms instead of pulling your feet. Breathe in and slowly come back up. Use your core to lower down to the mat with control. Keep the focus all the way to the end. Come into one final relaxing Shavasana. Breathe deep and lie in a comfortable position. Relax the whole body and embrace the feeling in the body of the this power yoga routine. Breathe deep and feel the belly and chest expand with your breath. Completely relax in both body and mind. Let go of any conscious breath. Let go of everything in this peaceful Shavasana. Breathe in your natural rhythm. Surrender to gravity. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle out your fingers and toes. Pull your knees in one at a time and roll into a fetal position. Keep the eyes closed. When you're ready, use the top hand to press yourself into a seated position. Blink the eyes open. Bring your hands to heart center and thank yourself for finding your focus and challenging your patience. And I thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Do you want to deepen your knowledge of all the zodiac signs and how they can influence your yoga practice? Click on the first link in the description below this video. Enter your name and email and I will send you a free ebook about all the zodiac signs. Do you want to keep practicing yoga and learn more about all the star signs? This is the Zodiac Yoga playlist to find the next star sign video.
on the Astrology Yoga playlist, I have gathered all the yoga classes that revolves around astrology and are dedicated to the celestial bodies like the Sun, Moon and other planets. On the Power Yoga playlist, I've gathered all the sequences that are designed to be more challenging. Strengthen both your body and mind and get a good workout at the same time. Don't forget to give back by pressing the like button and comment down below what you thought about the video or what you'd like to see in the future. And the most important of all, make sure you subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell so you never miss a video. It helps me out a lot so that I'm able to keep on making free yoga content for you. Namaste.